I will see the Paulo Costa gonna win this fight, you know? Okay. Because he will not break uh, the style of uh, uh, Strickland, you know? He, he is a puncher, he is a fighter, and he will not make it one step back. And uh, this is something what the Strickland don't like, I think. So. And I think even though Paulo Costa has more punching power and he's aggressive, I think especially in a five round fight, Sean Strickland will walk forward, absorb the striking, keep putting pressure, and eventually Paulo Costa is going to get tired. I don't see Paulo Costa shooting for takedowns. I see Paulo Costa trying to outstrike Sean Strickland, but with his pace, with his cardio, and if he keep going like he did against Adesanya, I see Sean Strickland winning by decision. I know it's a common take, everybody will say that, but it is what it is. It's pressure against power. So Sean Strickland will try to outbox him. Paulo will try to knock him out, but eventually with five rounds, if Paulo Costa don't knock him out on the five, on the first or in the second, it's going to be a long ass night for him. I do feel like I'm underestimating Paulo Costa over five rounds though. Like I've, I've, if it was three rounds, I would pick Costa because I feel like he can definitely win 10 minutes. <laughs> I think it's going to be absolute chaos. <laughs> And I think, I think, potentially, Paolo Costa is going to win three rounds, and Strickland's going to win two. But then Costa will get a point deduction for grabbing the fence, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Definitely something mad is going to happen. I'll go Paolo Costa then, just so I've got something to brag about when you're wrong. Yeah, and if it's three rounds, Costa can apply more pressure. He can, can be super physical, like he was against Joel Romero. Five rounds, he just can't get it done. Unless in his head, the game plan is the five rounds. Let's, like Basically, if we can't get it done in the first two, we're screwed. It'll be tough to get it done in the first two. Unless Strickland just has some mental error, which I think he learned from the Alex Pierre fight. Dude, avoid those big shots early on. And you, it, it's going to be a, it's going to be like a tidal wave. But the Sean Strickland tidal wave is intense at 85, especially five rounds. The first two rounds are going to be a little dicey for him. He might get wobbled. As long as he doesn't get murked and flatlined, if he survives, all you gotta watch. Once it gets to that two and a half mark in the second round, enjoy your winnings if you bet on Sean Strickland. You, you, you gotta get halfway through that second round. It's, you're gonna walk through some Brazilian secret juice fire. But if you can survive that secret juice fire, bud, he's gonna melt him. He's gonna melt him like acai in Brazil in the summer. He's gonna melt him. It's set up for Strickland to absolutely melt him. But again, you got to get through one and a half rounds. We have to get through that. It's going to be tough. He can do it, though. He can do it. It was amazing. Now, let's talk about this fight a little bit with Sean Strickland versus Costa. Now, Costa is definitely a different fighter than Izzy Adesanya. This dude's explosive. He's tricky. He doesn't mind mixing it up a little bit. And he's got power in his strikes. Now, Sean Strickland, I think he's going to do what he always does. I do believe he's going to get right in his face, try to tire him out just like he did Izzy Adesanya. If Sean Strickland can make him tired, and we know Costa, very bulky guy, tends to fade later in the rounds in that second and third round. If Strickland can get in his face and make him cover up, make him feel uncomfortable, land his strikes, and especially if he use those front kicks like he did against Izzy, I think he can tire him out and come out with that W. Now, Paulo Costa, he's very explosive and very powerful person. If he can do what he did against Luke Rockhold, beat this guy with straight, powerful techniques, mix up the grappling a little bit, I think he can win that fight as well. Because again, Paulo Costa is gonna swing hard. Sean Strickland's gonna make sure he's blocking, he's gonna see them come and he's gonna defend and try and land some shots here and there. Uh, but is he gonna let the rounds get away from him? That is something that you guys, when you're, if you, you remember, gamble responsibly, I'm gonna say that every time we do this. Remember that when you are betting here, it's a three round fight. Will Sean Strickland block the shots, but maybe lose the rounds? Or is he gonna be more aggressive? He's still very defensive and maybe flick some shots. Um, you know, he might block and just, you know, throw a nice little straight jab just to, you know, touch you and get you tired and get you on the back foot uh, and things like that. I'm gonna leave it with you guys to sort of weigh them options and odds and see what you think is the best option for you. Because, uh, you know, the underdog, obviously people, are, you know, I like to sometimes go on the underdogs here. I, th I think the underdog in this fight, isn't too bad of a pick, but I am gonna ultimately pick 
Sean Strickland. Yeah, I, I think if the Paulo Costa that I fought, you know, a couple of months ago, turns up against Strickland, I think he beats Strickland. Paulo Costa, that Paulo Costa that I fought, I thought was in really good form. I think Paulo Costa might knock him out. Paulo, uh, sometimes I feel like he will uh, tone down the tempo so he doesn't get too tired too fast because when he goes, he goes, you know, pretty, he's pretty explosive. So he goes pretty hard and he's giving everything he can in his movement. So um, that could play against him, against Strickland, because Strickland doesn't get tired. He's not throwing everything in every strike. He's, he's touching, touching, touching until he can really touch you and then he'll, he'll put some uh, mustard on it. So I would give the edge to Strickland now. Uh, Paulo Costa being such a, you know, a powerful individual, I could see him hurting Strickland early and it completely changing the outcome of the fight. But Sean Strickland is, man, he, he's, his pace is, is different. He has phenomenal defense. He also is really good on the ground, but we never get to see it. Um, with Costa being number seven, he's jumping up to the number one contender. So he really wants to make a statement so he can fight for that title. And uh, he he's fought former champion Israel Adesanya and lost to him. His last fight, he lost to a uh, former champion Robert Whitaker in a close bout. I was there sitting cage side and it was such an exciting fight. Uh, but Sean Strickland, he just, man, he's just, he's a, he's another breed, you know, he's just gonna, it, it's tough to bet against that guy because of the defense he has, the output, the pace, his mindset. Um, there's nothing that can stop him. So it, it is kind of a coin flip, but it, depends on who shows up on Saturday night. But if I had to bet, I am leaning towards Sean Strickland um, pulling off a decision unless he breaks Costa and gets some type of TKO. But I'm leaning towards Strickland, but I could see this going either way. He's definitely gonna get tired and Strickland's gonna take advantage of that. Costa to win, what will Costa have to do? He'll have to be aggressive, use body kicks, and also just use his jab, even if he might not land all of them or some of them use his jab as well. Good jab for jab with Strickland. And also mix up the grappling just to get him tied as well. Strickland, do what he does. Pressure, use his jab. Uh, I think the front kicks would be a problem for Costa dealing with them when Strickland throws them. Who do you think is the more dynamic striker? Costa. Costa, more dynamic, more juice. Do you think just the jab and the front kick is going to be enough to keep Costa away? Yeah, he does it really well. He does it really well. I mean, like, look, he's been, Costa's been low-key improving. Like, even though yeah. he doesn't fight and like, you know, yeah, but again, uh, it's it's more about consistency, momentum. True. Even though he, you know, just lost to Drickus, he beat me before that, and he had like a long, just active, active, active. Costa's only fought three times. Will there be a takedown in this fight? Yeah, most likely. Probably Costa taking down Sean. But anyway, I'm gonna pick Strickland in this fight. I'm gonna say he's gonna go the distance. He's not gonna finish him. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel.